Hi, welcome to day two of crafts. I'm Miss Anne Marie. This is Lee. I'm Jessalyn. I'm Dina. Earlier you heard the story of how Saul became Paul. Saul was really mean to God's people, the people who loved God, but God um, forgave him of his sins. And we're going to talk about sins today. We've got some fun crafts that we're going to do. We're going to make some um, pom-pom boulders to knock sin down, and we're going to make a bookmark for you to put in your Bible. Wait, we're doing crafts? Yeah. Do you know what my favorite craft supply is? No. It's, it's construction paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're going to talk about sins. What are some of the sins that you've done in your life? You're going to have some cups. You're going to write down your sins. What'd you write? Maybe you lied. Maybe you stole something. Um, whatever you do that's sinful separates you from God. But Jesus can take all that sin away. Jessalyn's going to show us how to make these little boulders that are going to knock down the sins that, sins that stack up in our lives. So we're going to stack up the sins, and after we make our pom-poms, we're going to knock them down. All right, guys. So you, have, you already have in your uh, bag from BBS some of the supplies that you're going to need. But other than that, you're going to need a pair of scissors and a fork. I'm going to go get that. <laughs> you got it, Tina. Okay. okay. So the first thing you need to do is take your fork and your short piece of string in your bag. If you don't have a short piece of string, it needs to be about 10 inches. You're going to place it in the middle of your fork, just like so. Next, you're going to take your long piece of string, and you're going to hold it against the fork and wrap it from front to back about 50 times. This might take a little while, but don't worry. We're making our pom-pom nice and thick. And tight. That's right. And this works for small forks or big forks. It depends on what size you want your pom-pom to be in the end. All right? Almost there. That's good. Yep. Okay. All right. So then you're going to take the piece of string that was in the middle, and you're going to bring them up, and you're going to tie them in a really tight knot because you, uh, you don't want the string to come undone. So tie it super tight. like that and then we need to slip it off the fork just like that then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut all of the loops that are on your pom-pom so that it becomes nice and thick and we'll have lots of room to knock down those boulders and if you feel like your pom-pom is coming a little untight. You can always tie it back on the other side. Just wrap, it or wrap your two strings that were in the middle of the fork around to the other side and tie them in a tight knot. See, mine came undone a little bit. Yeah, that'll tighten it up some. Yeah. So cut all of your loops. And once you finish that, you might have a few scraggly ends like I do here. You can just cut those off and shape it into a ball. Give it a little trim. Give it a little haircut. And your pom-pom will be done. And now you can use it to knock down some sins. Or if you're talented like Lee, you can do some juggling. Whoa, <laughs> that's good. See, he can do that. I have no idea how to do that. All right, so our next craft is this bookmark. Now, it's pretty easy to do. All you need is to color it, and there should be a hole already punched in your paper. Now, what you'll need to do is with the other string in your bag and a craft bead, you're going to fold the string in half, end to end, like this, 
you're going to take the loop in, and you're going to go from the back to the front, like this, and then you're going to poke the string through the bead. And it's a little difficult to do, like that. And then you're going to take the strings and pull them through the loop, and then you have your bookmark. And you can color it however you want. The string might be a little long. You can always cut it off or make it however you want. So let's pull it through here and then tighten it. Yeah. There you go. There we go. We did it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.